Hi, I'm Christoph Chu with Coa Banker Previews International in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. Today I want to take you on another tour of Mapleton Drive, considered to be one of the finest streets in the West Coast and the finest street for homes in the city of Los Angeles. So come with me on this tour. It's a second tour of this amazing and incredible street here in the Holmby Hills area. So let's take a look around. So I just turned off of Sunset Boulevard here on to South Mapleton Drive. And Mapleton Drive is in Holmby Hills, which is a neighborhood here in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, I did a video five years ago about this street and, and advising people to buy here now while you have a chance. And boy, since then, the market has gone crazy on this street. So here to our left is a original 1930s Paul Williams that sold probably about four, five years ago for just over 10 million. Uh, the buyer uh, remodeled the house completely and kept the original charm in the Paul Williams style. This home over here was a construction done for the famed restaurateur um, Mr. Chow of the restaurants Mr. Chow. It's a beautiful contemporary Mediterranean and I love the rose quartz crystal stones on the gateways. Pretty cool. So we're heading south on Mapleton Drive towards Wilshire Boulevard. Over here to our left, I oh, can't see it too well, was the home of Verna Hera, or I think it's still her home actually, uh, from um, Hera's Casinos. A lot of very interesting people on the, live on the street, a lot of business moguls, celebrities have become very, have really become to enjoy the neighborhood. So this house over here to the left was a 1940 style home uh, that sold originally a couple of years ago. And at that time it sold, I believe for, gosh, about 14 million. Uh, the buyer who bought it redid the house and Puff Daddy purchased the property last year for, I believe it was just over $40 million. So you can buy a fixer for 14, spend money fixing it up to the nines, and then sell it for 40 million. Uh, this is probably one of the streets in LA that really can command amazing, amazing prices. Uh, this house here at 219 Mapleton, a uh, beautiful newer construction, traditional style, sold back in 2009 for 13.2 million. Today it's probably worth 18 to 20 million pretty easily. So you can see one of the keys to Homeby Hills is lots of hedges, lots of gates, lots of privacy. And buyers who live in these areas really like having all that privacy. So this is the corner of Mapleton and Charing Cross Road. If you go down just the bottom of that street, all those cars, they're all parked to go to the Playboy Mansion. Uh, that's Hugh Hefner's house, the world famous Playboy Mansion, that's the front entrance. And uh, those are the workers there for the day. This particular property, which you can't really see from the gates too well, uh, this property originally sold the lot for just under nine million in 2011. Uh, the buyer, who's a local developer, developed the property, created a 22, 23,000 square foot house, and it sold last year um, at an amazing price of $44 million. So it was 1.2 acres, they tore it down, built a new construction home, and then sold it for $44 million. Um, this house here was the former home of Ben Affleck and his wife, uh, and because it was a new construction that they had bought Gosh, I forget how many years ago, but uh, anyways, that was uh, his home here in the Holmby Hills area. So as we continue down, you will see occasionally as we go down, there are lots of tour buses uh, because of the many celebrities that used to live here, that do live here now. Um, there's a lot of uh, tour buses that come up and down the street. So this house here on South Mapleton uh, was on the market off and on for a number of years. Gosh, it's hard to get the camera angles. They bought it for, I think it was just under 20 million, 19.5. They basically taken it down to the shell and uh, building a new house. So basically about one acre property and it sold for, um, uh, gosh, just under 20 million. With the new house on it now, we could be looking at 40 to 50 million. There's one of our Starline tour buses. So that house there at 360 South Mapleton is one of the most interesting. It sold in 2010 for 14 million eight something, um, owned by a, a very well-known Los Angeles philanthropist. And uh, she sold, their family sold the house, sold for just under 40 million. And subsequently, right after that, Ellen DeGeneres resold it for 49.5 million, I think less than six or seven months later. Original 1950s house, the first developer basically redid the house, kept its mid-century charm and character, and, uh, and then 
sold it and then Ellen bought it again for just under 40 and resold it for just under 50, literally six months later. Just to give you an idea what happens on this street. Over here to our left on this gate, that was another um, Hefner property that sold about a year and a half ago for 11 million. Um, I sold this home a few years ago, um, actually about five years ago, and that sold for 11 million at that time, 1.6 acres. Today it's more than doubled in value. And that was the home from the movie Mommy Dearest. Those of you who remember, that was the Mommy Dearest house in the movie. So here still is the back side or the, the side yard of the Ellen DeGeneres house that uh, resold. And basically an internet guy came to her and said, I'll give you 10 million more and she sold it. So anyways, why not? <laughs> uh, behind the gates here, you can maybe get a peek of it through. No, you can't really see it. Uh, that's Frank Mancuso's home, uh, the, uh, the movie producer. And uh, it's a beautiful uh, kind of Mediterranean villa, a neoclassical style, and it was designed by Richard Landry. This is the back entrance to the Playboy Mansion. Uh, it has two entrances. Behind the big, big hedge there on the left was the home of Hugh Hefner's ex-wife. She was living there, and that sold, gosh, about four or five years ago for 18.5 million. Uh, over here to the right is another house that recently sold for 22 million. Um, over here to the left, this is kind of interesting, I sold this property to my clients oh, about five years ago. Uh, they paid over 14.2 million for it. Uh, it's a 1.3 acre property on the country club. They just started tearing it down a few weeks ago and they're going to be building a new home on that lot. Um, I tried to get them to buy that for many years and they finally did and it's, in my opinion, one of the best lots in the entire city of Los Angeles and worth a fortune and they're going to build a gorgeous, gorgeous new house. Uh, that will, we just drove by Gregory Peck's old house. It sold last year for, I think it was 29.5 million. Uh, this is a new construction home that sold about five years ago. They paid about 13.5 million for the lot, and they just finished construction about a year ago of this beautiful contemporary home. And we're almost at the end of Mapleton. So Mapleton is a pretty small street. There's maybe only 25 homes on this street. And prior to six years ago, there were very few homes ever sold on the street, other than uh, when the Spellings purchased the Bing Crosby estate and built their mansion on there. Uh, but you know, for a long time, there were no sales on the street. In the last six years, there have been about 10, 12 sales on this particular two blocks. Quite interesting. So there's the famous um, uh, Spelling Mansion. We'll go do a U-turn to get a little better perspective that uh, Petra Ecclestone purchased for 89.5 million. And this is a, a modern home that sold, gosh, uh, about five years ago now for 10.5 million to a very well-known local interior designer. And so we're at the edge of Mapleton at Club View Drive, and this is Homeby Park, which is a public park for uh, the city of Los Angeles. And a lot of the neighborhood residents love to uh, enjoy the park even though it's um, you know public and they most people here have very large yards <laughs> still nice to have a park nearby so this is the entrance gate to the uh, Ecclestone mansion now it's no longer the spelling mansion and once again there's the Michael Smith home and on this from this side you can get a little better view of the garage and kind of just a little portion of the house uh, when it was built back in the 80s it was the largest home in America I think it was 55 or 56 thousand square feet uh, so this house here has never been on the market since I've been in real estate for 26 years. Again, most of these homes never came on the market because they were all sold in 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And most of those very prominent wealthy families basically stayed here until things changed in their life and they moved on. So again, that's a new construction uh, here that was built about a year ago. And then this is the property that my clients purchased uh, as a teardown for 14.2 million about five years ago that's now under construction. And we'll just kind of head back and give you the reverse view of uh, Mapleton Drive. So here we go, another one of our local tour buses showing uh, the tour, but I kind of know more than they do. So there's a little preview of the uh, Palladian neoclassical home of uh, Mancuso. And again, the back entrance of the Playboy Mansion over here. And we're gonna head back up on north, back going back north on Mapleton here, heading back towards Sunset Boulevard. So basically it's two blocks from Sunset to uh, Wilshire Boulevard. Again, this is the uh, Ellen DeGeneres home that she decided to sell. And then uh, and she bought this after she sold her Beverly Hills home. And that's the new construction that uh, is underway after they purchased the lot for 19.5 million um, 
about eight months ago. One of our food trucks feeding the local workers. Uh, this house has never been on the market since I've been in real estate, so that's one I have not yet seen. Otherwise, I've seen pretty much all the houses here in Mapleton. That's the new construction that, again, they paid 8.9 for, built a new house, and sold for 44.5 million uh, to, a, I believe, a family from Saudi Arabia. So uh, we still are getting lots of foreign buyers buying in LA, mostly for vacation homes, uh, not principal residences, and uh, many, many of these properties are vacation homes uh, and not primary residences. It's probably about a 50-50. In our luxury market, over 10, 15, 20 million, I'd say a good 40 to 60% of those homes are uh, vacation homes for foreign buyers or buyers that have homes in New York, maybe Chicago, Miami, and want an LA place. Uh, so here is the Puff Daddy house that was that he purchased uh, last year. Uh, the only drawback I would say for Mapleton Drive is it's city of Los Angeles, so the streets aren't great. We got a lot of potholes and little cracks here and there. People always mention that in my videos how they don't like that, but hey, that's just what it is in LA. You know, the city doesn't have much money; it's just the owners do. There's the uh, Mr. Chow house. Here's the Paul Williams home once again that sold uh, about five years ago. And uh, the last one here that I couldn't show you earlier is a house on the corner that last sold for 10.1 million, um, gosh, about two years ago. Uh, only reason it sold for that cheap is because it does back up on the Sunset Boulevard, so there's a little bit of sunset noise. So that's my little tour today of uh, Mapleton Drive and Homeby Hills. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're looking to buy in Los Angeles or Beverly Hills or anywhere in kind of the west side of LA, give me a call at 310-777-6342 and be my pleasure to help you. Christoph Chu and I'll see you soon.